Hi, up for sale is our 2008 Dutchman 26B DSL. Um, let's start off with the uh, front area. Here you put the barbecue and storage needs all in here. Uh, it's got plenty of room. Put your carpet, uh, barbecue, or whatever you want to put in there. This uh, light illuminates. Over here we got uh, the model number and the year. Right here. This uh, travel trailer was originally purchased in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Over here we got the uh, hot water tank. It's in good working shape. I'll demonstrate that here shortly. This is our uh, refrigerator unit. Over here is the pack and play. You can uh, put all your beach supplies or camping needs in here. This clips up for more storage space. So if you want to put your chairs up in here and all that, you can just put them all in here. All this stuff will be included, the uh, water supply line, the uh, electrical outlet. Got a slide out, the slide out extends about uh, two and a half feet. Got your RV water filter filtration system here. Here you got uh, your sewer unit, St store your uh, sewer line in here. Right here we got uh, the uh, outside clean out, cable uh, hookups right there. We got this uh, area for storing all your supplies here. This is where we keep all the uh, plastic gloves for and the water lines and cable units. All that stuff down there was stored in here. Over here we got some extended mirrors that also will be coming with the unit. This right here is the uh, four point sway control original equalizer uh, stabilizer. It's uh, for max tongue weight 1000, uh, trailer weight 10,000 pounds. Uh, it's been very good for us. This is a $900 unit. Uh, the max. Uh, Weight of this travel trailer is 9,680 pounds. Uh, this is where we stored the stabilizer unit and the uh, bunch of other tools and supplies. Included will be this uh, happy hook awning tie down. You can tie down your awning to the beach or ground to keep it more stabilized. Here's some of the tools that will be included as well. This is for the uh, slide out. It has an electrical slide out, but if you do lose power or for some reason need to get it back in, this will be here. This is the unit for lowering the uh, the jacks. We've got four of those all around to stabilize your travel trailer. We got some uh, ball grease here. Keep the ball on the hitch lubricated. We've got a light up front here for illuminating your hook hitch hookups. Two uh, LP gas tanks for plenty of uh, heat and uh, refrigerator cooling. Right here we got your two battery hookups uh, and your spare tire of course up here in front. It's brand new, has never been used, as you can see by the lines here. This, uh, this is a pretty good shape. Let's head inside.
as you can see here there's plenty of space for your storage needs in here we got the uh, manuals and stuff for the uh, RV full on uh, owner's manual manuals for all the refrigerator and uh, microwave stuff like that a couple of spare parts some fuses um, all that will be included here's your fire extinguisher and we got the uh, carbon dioxide gas detector that's just the test there over here we got your fuse box access there some more storage unit space more storage in here um, we got this uh, DVD player it's got surround sound this TV pulls out you can adjust it to however you want raise it lower it turn it have your kids sit down speakers uh, are here as well all the interior lights have been updated to LEDs here's the uh, cutting board area you can cut your fruits and vegetables over here waterworks um, over here we got your ventilation fan that also works Here's your uh, stove. All three burners work just fine. Over here we got your uh, fresh water um, indicators, black, gray, and your battery power. We got your water pump. And let's go check out this hot water heater. And uh, let's see that fire up. As you can see, the hot water uh, tank functions normally, and uh, it has gas and electric, so you can use either or or both in combination to have your hot water needs there. I'll leave that running so you guys can see that it uh, works just fine. Uh, we got uh, more storage space over here for all your utensils and stuff more upper storage space up here microwave works here I'm demonstrating the uh, refrigerator as you can see here's a refrigerator or freezer unit uh, cold and then the refrigerator unit as well they're both working order over here we got the uh, children's uh, bunk beds 300 pound bed uh, capacity as you can see I, I'm about 130 pounds I can go up here just fine and go up there these uh, red lights were installed for the kids. They're red LEDs. You can change those out if you don't like the red, but they're perfect night lights for the kids. This ladder will also be included for easy access for the kids to get up into the bunk bed. Here's the, uh, the bathroom, the uh, toilet seat, works 
works just fine. Flush to pedal flush. Also has a uh, area right here on the side to fill up water if your desire is to have more water in the in the toilet. We got storage space under here for all your uh, toiletries. Also have a medicine cabinet up here. This uh, unit right here has been very good for us. You can give your kids a bath in there. Just uh, plug up the drain and fill it up with water and put some bubble bath in there and the kids will be able to have a bubble bath. There's also uh, ventilation for if uh, you want to vent out the bathroom a little bit. That works as well. Over here is the uh, dining booth area. This also uh, converts into a bed. You can fit uh, two uh, people on here, two kids or maybe two small sized adults. You got storage space underneath here. You can store uh, food, rice or whatever you feel like storing over there. Access over here as well. These come down. And there's also an uh, electrical unit over here for your coffee maker. And there, it's, uh, it's a pretty comfortable bed. I'm about five foot nine. And I can fit on here just fine. Over here, we got our uh, sleeper uh, sofa couch. This also pulls out into a uh, about a full size bed. I'll be demonstrating that right now. You just take out these couches. This pulls out. Of course we got frozen because my eldest daughter is sleeping on this bed. And there you go. Pretty comfortable bed if you want to take your TV and Maybe watch some TV or something. You do that as well. Angle it down. Lay down and, and enjoy uh, your movie. Here is the uh, furnace system. I am demonstrating that the furnace is in working order. As you can see here with the uh, flare temperature, you can see that it is outputting heat at the vents. Over here is the uh, master bedroom. This flips up for the uh, added storage space down there. You got uh, your nightstand over here with plenty of uh, storage. You can hang your clothes up in there as well. Uh, storage space over here as well, up here, plenty of storage space.
Um, these lights are red for at night whenever you want to read a book and not hurt your eyes. We also have this area here. Uh, you can throw uh, your laundry basket down there and throw all your dirty clothes in there. Also have the storage spaces over here as well. Up here, over here we have another area where you can install a TV. There's no TV here, but these doors close for privacy. And up here you can install your TV unit and then plug in some cable. We also have this uh, unit here to uh, block the light so you can sleep and not have the light wake you up in the morning. I'm now demonstrating the uh, cooling system on this unit. There's three upper units, vents, that uh, come out through the top and the heat comes through the bottom. So you can see it's blowing cold air, almost uh, 39 degrees. Another unit here. These are the hot water lines. Putting out uh, hot water. One hundred twenty degrees Fahrenheit. Hot water. Right here is the. Uh, switch to retract the sliding slide out back in 